Hey guys, so today was Friday and I went and shopped. So yes, I spent a crap load of money. Um, the great thing about where I work is you get paid pretty well. So um, I got paid today, I get paid every Friday, so I went out and I went and bought some stuff. So first I went to Ulta and then I went to Kohl's, so I have two hauls today. So the first one is Ulta. Um, so I got a beauty blender that was for $5.99. I needed a new one. Um, I got the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. Um, I've heard good things about this, but I actually wanted to try it for myself, so I bought it. Um, I also got the number seven Stay Perfect Foundation. Um, I got Cool Vanilla. And I like the packaging in this. So this was cute. This is a fluid ounce and I got this for $15, which is not too bad. Um, I was going to get, short story, when I went into Ulta, um, it was like, I think four o'clock in the afternoon. All their foundations were disgusting and sticky and I don't think they ever cleaned them because people play with them. Yes, I know people play with them. But one thing Ulta could do is to, maybe a suggestion is to have in the morning, have people clean them. Um, the one I was trying to use to try and find my my match, it was disgusting. It kept getting all over my hands. It got on my jacket. I was really getting pissed. So I said, fuck it. And I left. And I just found this one. And I said, cool vanilla. We'll see if it will work. You know, we'll see. Um, that's one of the things I suggest uh, all to do. Clean the freaking foundations, clean the stuff up. I know people play with them, but you're a beauty store. You can at least be a little sanitary. I don't know. That was just disgusting. This was $15.99 on my little rant. Um, so I've never heard of number seven. So we shall see. Um, the next one is the uh, Ulta Beauty. This was originally $18 and I got it for nine. So they have a highlight, a bronzer, and a blush. I took it off and I swatched it. These are creamy and buttery, and they are just so great. I was going to show them something happened in my video camera, and it just it didn't get it. So I did not buy this used, guys. I swatched them. They are very pretty. They are very nice, and I will be using them in a tutorial tomorrow. I'm not going to swatch them again because it's just taking up too much time, and I'm hungry, and I want to eat dinner. So the last one is the Too Faced Face Primer. Um, 100% oh, silicone free. So this is uh, $20 I got. Um, I was looking for a primer that will hydrate my face and Too Faced was the cheapest one and this is the one I got. So easy said and done, easy. All right. We're getting to the Smashbox Ombre Lipsticks. So I got two. I got Nude and I got Berry. The other two I didn't really like that much and I, I just didn't think I was going to I got two and they were $24. So this is so they have the dark purple and the light going up. They have the Smashbox logo as always. Always the same with Smashbox. And then they come this black little cartridge with Smashbox down the back. So both of them are the same except I can't keep them straight. So there we go. And then the um, shades are on the bottom. So this is the berry one. For you guys. And this is the nude one. So I'm going to do the nude one first and then the berry one already. So I took my lipstick off, my liquid lipstick that I was wearing from BH. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do this ombre lipstick. So here we go. I can see the ombre in it, not gonna lie, I can see it. Um, you can see it on the top. A lot of people just, I can see the ombre, and I really like this. Is Nudes are always my favorite. So this is the nude one, and I think it's really cute. Um, I can see the ombre in it, so it's really nice. But when you use it on the bottom, you have to like turn it upside down and try and get that ombre on the bottom. So make sure it's all set in the lips, because if you just do it straight, you're gonna have it messed up, so. Um, the next thing I will be uh, doing is the berry one. So let's clean this off.
Baby wipes might work, guys. This was clean this morning, so. All right, so the next one is the berry one. And cute. I'm kind of scared to use it because it's so pretty. So, all right, let's do it. I like this one. This one was very pretty, but I'm going to say my the nude one is actually my favorite. Um, so these were twenty four dollars. They are pretty. They are ombre ish, so you get that kind of. I went and I went to Kohl's and I got a ton of stuff. So Kohl's, I went. So the next one is I got the sweatshirt. Um, this is a Trek Year sweatshirt. I wear these sweatshirts to work um, in the winter because it is freaking cold. So this was $19, so that was a good buy. It's a lightweight sweatshirt. I don't get fleece. I don't get wool. Those are too hot, and you just, too, it's just, it's it's too hot, and you'll die. So, and the next one is I got a Vera Wayne bag. Yeah. So this was originally $69. I got it. For 36 what and pretty much three because I spent over a hundred dollars and last but not least I got this cute um, apt nine mini wallet so it's cute I liked it so what it does is inside this little pouch I'm guessing I'm guessing what is this I, don't know. I guess this is supposed to charge your phone I don't, I, I have no idea. I'll have to read the instructions. That is all I got today, guys. That is it. So, um, as always, please subscribe down at the bottom if you like my channel and if you like me. And if you don't like me, if you, I really don't care. This is what I like doing about makeup. So I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!